Well, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. It's January 18th. It's sleeting out. It's got some snow on the ground. It's nasty. It is plum nasty outside. I got something new in the mail today. Actually, yesterday. I take that back. It was yesterday. So, last fall, I purchased the Scentlock Radio 400B. Um, this is just an absolute awesome addition. Um, there are other brand names out there, which I will not mention, that you screw into a tree and pop on, and they're more like a square shape that you use in the tree for ozone. Um, and they do a great job. However, this awesome. It's called the radial because it's 360 degrees. It's not 270 degrees, I think, is the other one. Um, but this is 360 degrees. It's awesome. The only complaint that I have from anybody um, that had them was they were a little bit louder. But um, so you have this wonderful strap. You even have this little kind of tether snap on here that you can use as well. This little snap here comes off and then let's see here. So I put a knot in it so I can hang it short or long. Basically hang it from a tree hook. That's what I'm getting at. Hang it from a tree hook, and then, um, but I hang it above my head, so that way I know whichever way the wind's blowing, it's going to take this with it. Um, and whenever I have my back up, up against a tree, like if it's, you know, if I'm standing up, I can hear it because it's buzzing in my ear. It's like a mosquito in your ear. Um, but when I sit down and it's up here, I barely hear it. So I know the deer have like bionic hearing. So. Um, I know that this is, again, a little bit louder, but um, not too loud. But what I did do, what I got in the mail, in our new unboxing, is a Scentlock Nano. It's going to be about half that size. So come along with me. There we go. So this is going to be for next season. And again, you can use this to clean out your locker room or your you know wherever you keep your hunting gear I have this is the loft in my garage I mean I can use it in here you can use it in a closet you know to clean it out um, you know if your kid burns toast in the kitchen and it just stinks or whatever um, I live out in the country somebody was burning rubber or something last night it was plum nasty I almost fired one of these up but I didn't so here we go let's see here so this is the radial nano yeah. So look at this joker. <laughs> it's tiny. <laughs> it is awesome. <laughs> that is. Look, I'm all about weight reduction and in me. Weight reduction. But weight reduction when you're packing in. Um, I got the Lone Wolf uh, custom gear, uh, the Series 1 stand. This past fall and they just came out with one even lighter but it's a little bit smaller too small for me I didn't fall off that thing but um, I was watching the ATA um, the new stand that came out this one's just fine for me but um, there's some new accessories that I'm gonna go into that I'm gonna get um, to hold the tree stand sticks onto the stand some things that they came out with Andre came out with this year it's like a little hook that goes through the sticks and into the stand looks pretty sweet so I'm gonna be getting that and I'll go through those as well down the road. I don't know. I assume that this joker has a plug. Oh, there it is. There we go. Oh, cool. So it's got the strap plug. And this is just like a micro USB Hoochmajabi, this plug here. I'm going to plug this joker in. So you just, there's a little notch here on the bottom of it. You just run this thing through there and run it through itself. Um, and you can charge your phone from this. There's a USB port here and here. So if you are if you have a mini uh, uh, speed charger, you know, one of those little bricks, you can plug that into your phone and plug it into here. You can charge your phone from this while you're sitting in the tree stand. So another great feature of both these. Both of them have it. This one has it here. There's a USB right there. Um, and then there's the charging port here. So... Um, I am super excited, man. This thing, I'll tell you what, mobile hunters, get yourself one of these. Again, the other brand name, 
Nobody's making them this small. Nobody. Now, I might lose a little bit of juice on this little guy, but um, nonetheless, it's gonna. I'm gonna put it through the paces for sure. The other thing I was gonna say that um, a buddy of mine, I ended up getting this radial for him last year uh, for his birthday, and he was hunting in the swamps of Maryland and had the radial for some reason drops into the waters below him and it was like two weeks after he bought it, he's telling me the story and he was just absolutely furious that he dropped in the water and just let it go because it was toast anyway so he hunted the rest of the day five hours later comes down to the stand pulls out of the water it's still running he called me he could not believe it apparently all the components inside of this are pretty well hermetically sealed to where and I don't, wouldn't suggest like having it out in the rain all the time but if it falls in the water and doesn't shut off it ain't gonna do that in the rain so uh, pretty exciting about that a couple other things I wanted to say so this is a, definitely a review and a um, shout out to Scentlock thank you small light I mean this is <laughs> this is no heavier than a, a coffee cup I mean not even this is ridiculously light so this joker is going to get put to use a lot um, and it's going to totally save space in my pack. A couple of things I was going to talk about as well. Oh, by the way, Lone Wolf is coming out with a camera arm. Then I'm going to be doing a review on that coming up soon. That joker looks awesome. It's called the pocket arm. And yes, you can fit it in your back pocket. Andre Cody, well done. So anyway, that's coming up. Uh, as soon as it comes off the line, I'll be doing that one as well. The thing I was thinking about is, you know, these gorilla arms for the um, GoPros, all you uh, filmers out there, self filmers and that. I found this online. It is a rubber case for my GoPro because this joker is the silver, if you will. So it's that. Um, so that stands like a sore thumb. This is a little rubber camouflaged case that just stretches right over top of your case. So another little tip and trick right there. The other thing is, lastly, Look at this joker. This is for camera gear. Again, any self-filmers, you're traveling. I don't fly whenever I'm hunting. I usually drive because I just I need all my gear. So I drive literally across the country. Um, I know a lot of you guys do as well. Um, this I use a um, DSLR and GoPro, and this joker fits all of it and is bomb-proof. Um, has a little locks here. I don't really know if it's bomb-proof, so don't try it. Um, but I think it is TSA approved because it's got the little lock holes and um, it's awesome. It does a great job for me. So that's it. That's my review and my unboxing of the Scentlock Nano, Scentlock Oz Nano. Um, they have just outdone themselves. I mean, all their stuff, all their, um, their radials, the Scentlock bag, um, all the Oz gear, that line is just phenomenal. So you guys are doing a great job kudos and um that's what i got for today so i appreciate you guys watching remember like and subscribe i'll see you next time